Hey guys, so I'm here today looking to change my gear stick. Um, I, I know a lot of people are probably going to have some similar issues. Uh, that DSG gear stick looks battered after a while. I mean, absolutely battered. I don't know about anyone else's. I'm not sure how well this is going to pick up either, but as you can see, we've got damage all across the, uh, the, the leather part of the DSG. Uh, quite a bit of damage. Starting to peel from the sides, like the layering's coming off all along there. It's not actually chrome, it's like chrome wrapped, I guess. It's horrible. So I'm gonna be changing this today. The first thing you need to do is use a trim tool to to take that lever part off of your gear stick. But unfortunately, I don't really have a gentle <laughs> trim tool. But it's the first thing you need. Ideally, you want to use a plastic one. My center section here has already been off, so it's not too much of an issue for me. I can get this off and uh, continue what I'm doing. Right, so you need your trim tool. And ideally a flattened screwdriver, I should have bought it out, but I completely forgot. Um, one thing to note with these things, all of this, anything with Volkswagen seems to break when you pull it apart. They're, they're, or even if it doesn't break, they don't really go back together properly. A lot of Volkswagen stuff's meant to be used once and then replaced. So just bear that in mind. But I mean, I'm guessing most of you would not be taking this apart unless yours wasn't knackered. I'd like to think that anyway. I mean, if it's fine, then I wouldn't touch it. But yeah, that pops off. I don't want to lose that. The next thing that needs to happen, which is why I, sh I said I should have bought a flat screwdriver out of me, is you need to pick off, I don't know where you're going to see it. There's like little clips in here. Yeah, this is not going to get in there. All right, so we're back. Oh. All right, so we're back. Uh, the next thing I need to do is, basically, I need to get in here. I've got a little flathead screwdriver. To get in here, just prise these clips off. I think that one's off already. I think that one might actually be, might be broken. As I said, this does not matter because if they're as knackered as mine are, you're gonna want them off anyway. I've got another one there. There you go. So the one in here needs to be pulled towards you. There's one in the middle. Oh, yeah, so one up here towards you, one in the middle away from you, and one down here needs to be towards you. That's one section off. Let's see, it's very delicate, very delicate. But it doesn't really matter because as I said to you, mine's already seen better days. I'll show you a close up. See that? It's very uh, flaky. As you can see, it's flaking off. It's just like a wrapping coating, which is just, it's, it's not great. We just need it off. So the top one now off. This one here away from you. Doesn't make me wonder if there's one on the other side. There might be. Let's have a look at the other side. Yes, there is. Looking at this, we've got 
clip here. Do I look at it? Clip here, clip here, and clip there. Yep. This is why I'm breaking mine, so you don't have to. Yeah, so that clip was already broken. But this one I broke just now. So it's not a very uh, user-friendly design to remove. I mean, you're gonna end up breaking it. The only other way to not break that is to take it off from uh, the bases and have this whole thing off this whole out and change it out from the bottom out to the outside the only problem with doing that is if you're like me and i don't want to strip my whole car apart you know that's this is your only option but as i said if it's already broken it doesn't matter just put it off my replacements uh they're ebay specials they're nothing fancy but they look so much better It's easier to line it up with the bottom first because that will sit where it should sit. Push it in. There you go. That's one side in. Like I said, line it up with the bottom. It's the easiest way. So, yeah, that is literally the easiest way. So you come with it, as you pop it in here so it sits flush at the bottom and just push it in. Just being very mindful, be firm but not, don't gorilla grip it, just gentle because it may not want to go in the first time. There you go. And that is the outside's changed. I mean that feels already so much better next part is this part so this time I've opted to go with the anodized look completely rather than the leather and anodized nothing particularly wrong with that but um yeah I mean in winter it could be a bit a bit, a bit of an issue but in summer as we're approaching now it's not a problem I don't mind changing that one bit I mean it's minor so pop that in We know this hooks, so it's got to go down. Question is whereabouts. It's not something I've ever already gone through and changed before. I'll tell you what, rather than me breaking the knee bit, rather than me breaking the, uh, the knee bit, right, so it sits there like that straight down so it should have a small gap there we go done that is my DSG stick so this one sits higher as you put it down. So the, the old one sat lower and then I can just push it in. But this one sits much higher and then just goes straight down. But yeah, it's when you get stick. That feels so much more premium.